on, you got it, you got it. Where are we at? We're in New Balance. What's the what store? The factory store. You ready for the big game tonight? <laughs> you are. You guys are going. You guys are going. I can feel it. You ready to lift? <laughs> I'm ready to lift. Let's All go. Right. Let's yeah. go do it. Let's do it. Nice hat plus though. Thanks. I wear it to make the lift hearts very angry. Should we, should we remake that hat? Dude, you don't know how many people. Do you have two here? I've Let's had I've had asked me about that hat and not a single white dude. <laughs> All right, what are you doing they today? They do some stuff. Uh, today, I guess we're gonna try to PR the bench. What's your PR? 300. All right, where are we? We're in Newton, Massachusetts, starting strength Boston. They should come visit this guy, right? Yeah, yeah. It's Jack, Jack's, Jack GM over there. All right, so 302 and a it's half the, to PR. Listen, listen, listen. It's not my ears, it's not that my ears have cauliflower, it's that Grant's mustache stops him from speaking clearly. <laughs> That's so what it is. 302 and a half to PR. Three two and a half. Okay, so we yeah. hit three or two and a half, and then we make. And then you it, could like put it on YouTube, like yeah. make a big deal about yeah, it. Yeah, and then know? we start it from there. Exactly. All right, let's do it. Oh, this thing's. Um, oh man, this <laughs> thing slides. I don't know if it's here. You like today. that? You like that wooden bench? Right You'll be fine. All right. Well, since we're PR, and I guess I'll try and PR. My PR is three seventy-seven and a half. Okay. I don't know if that's happening today, but so, I'll go as far north as I can. Okay, let's get it, uh, baby. So, quick question. Yeah. What are you thinking about when you're just doing the bar? Uh, tied up her back, using my legs already, bracing my abs, just like when I squat. Like, treat everything like it's a heavy PR. See, so you made some uh, gear adjustments? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you didn't did. like the wooden? You can be honest here. Slides too much, man. <laughs> too much slides, slip and slide. Too much slip and slide. Bro. So we got a nice beefy rep, yeah. rep pad. You need pad. grip. You need, need grip, the grip in the hands, you need grip in the back. <laughs> That's right. So how old is your bench PR? Not old. Recent? 300 was recent? Yeah, that was, uh, I want to say like three weeks ago or something. Okay, all right. 315 is the goal. And then I did, I did also 300 floor press with oh. pause, but that was like slow. You're in all kind of super conjugate secret programming stuff. Yeah, man. I mean, it moves slower than Biden does to the podium. <laughs> when he's about to give the State of the Union address, but when Biden got to the podium, he, he got it done. He got it done. That's what matters. I've been running this like program from our Slack channel that's like all percentage based, but I'm trying to, in Aberdeen next month, do a bench workout with Tanner and try and keep up. So I've been training my bench heavier. So today, I don't want to go to failure, I just want to hit a top single. I think I can kind of always get 350, but... I think you need 302 and a half. 15 pound PR on a bench is a lot. Okay. We'll see what this looks like though. Um, yeah. And we'll ask for the expert opinion of this guy. Nice D. What's it like lifting pregnant? Huh? What's it like lifting pregnant? A lot of pressure. A lot of pressure? How do you, keep, you, how do you keep your pelvic floor strong? I don't know how to explain it, but you hug your baby and, and then you... And then you squat. So she's, you squat. she's getting hugged. Yeah. yeah well now you're out of breath, film plus those breath. So I have, a, I have a question for her. Yeah. So my wife is also pregnant. So I'm going to ask her a question. How do you typically pick what weight or intensity to do on certain days? Is it totally based off of feel or? I'm totally based it off of feel. Okay. Um, there's days where I can do like a plate okay. and I feel great. But there's other days where my energy is just like, oh. Okay. And I go like just the 25 pounds they are. Okay. Yeah. And then what rep ranges do you typically find yourself working in? Depending, like let's say like what rep range would a hard day be? Five. And then what rep range would an easy day be? Same thing, eight five, to ten. eight to ten. Okay, yeah. I see. Cool. Eight to ten. Good to know. Yeah. Yeah. D squats. Yeah. I'm not an expert. Yeah. <laughs> medical advice. First baby. This is not. This, this is, is not, not medical. Advice <laughs> yeah. Grant told me to do three hundred two and a half. Well, that's a weird way to load three hundred two and a half. Yeah. There's three plates. You just um, can't resist it. I just couldn't resist it, but fellow Latina love D told me to go for three fifteen. And a half. It's not that was not that wasn't on camera. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. Right. Just, you got it. Yeah, you got it. Come on, two, three. Come on, Placido. Come on, you got <laughs> it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> 
Almost like I told you, 302 and a half. I might be able to hit 302 and a half still, though. Yeah. <laughs> My right side was doing this. <laughs> All right, what's the math here? Uh, three or two and a half. But that's how do, what it comes out to. How do you do the math? I don't. I don't. You, to be honest with you, I don't. You I personally do don't Spanish. understand how we get there, but it's there. Two twenty-five, seventy-five, ninety-five, three or two and a half. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, it's that exactly. easy. It's that easy. Simple. Come on. Like drive. Nope. You got nope. it. You got it. You it's got going. it. Got it's going. Eyes up. Eyes up. Yeah. That's for YouTube. <laughs> That's for YouTube. It's a PR. Yeah, it's there, a PR. You there you go. There you go. Now it's time. Now it's time for Grant to get his. Wow, Baba, vamos, vamos. Who me dice? You tell me. Vamos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Drive, 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 drive. Right, elbows in, elbows in. It. Let's go, baby. <laughs> uh, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> My butt came up a little bit, but I'll take it. <laughs> so that's what happens when you bring a Puerto Rican to a gym. It's just a lot we're of gonna, screaming. We're gonna edit. <laughs> we're gonna edit the butt came up part. The, the butt did not come up. I didn't see it, so. The butt did not come up. The butt grew. That's what happened. There was a, there was hypertrophy. <laughs> All right. How much was that? 380. Wow. It's a good one. Are you coming for Tanner's? Tanner's coming Tanner? for Tanner's for Tanner's title. <laughs> Wasn't this the first video we filmed in here? Uh With the Cheeto man. girl. Oh wow. Uh, what's her name? Uh Caitlin. Yeah. Caitlin and Steven. I don't yeah, we know, man. Barbell row and how to use straps. Yeah. I what were you saying about how jujitsu people are so cool? <laughs> okay, I t the reason I t-bar row is because um, one of the considerations as a jiu-jitsu athlete is you get more volume on your back in jiu-jitsu than you do, say for example, I don't know, in basketball, right? So uh, in jiu-jitsu, people hang on your head a lot, right? You control the head, you control the human body. Because people are constantly hanging on your head, they're collar tying you, they're front head locking you, they're throwing your head around, we get a lot more volume on our, on our back, just doing the sport itself. So say for example, on a day when it's time to lift and I do a deadlift, do I really feel like doing some back off rows where my back's bent over and I'm getting more volume on my back? Not really, okay? So that's why I T-bar row because the, the T-bar machine just helps me keep it on the on the upper body and just leave the back out of it. So it The can, low back. The low back. Because you're supported against the bench or Correct. whatever. Okay, yeah. I see what you're saying. Exactly. So what are rows good for and why should people do rows? I just like them because you can still get a lot of low back work. It's a little bit the opposite of your T-bar row analysis, but you get still set the position, um, but it's not near as taxing as a deadlift. So like on a day that you still want to pull, but you don't want to pull 480, you can do it. Good lap development, good upper back. Um, I think it's good for newer lifters that struggle with setting the low back, especially like when they're running their novice LP. It's coming to an end, their back's starting to give out. If you add these in, then they get a lot more practice into setting the back. I don't like to use my hands with rows, I like to use straps, because I don't want any of the focus on my thumbs or gripping the bar. I want it just on maintaining good lumbar extension. Don't you have a full video on YouTube on Rose. Yeah, we, we filmed it here. Where do they click? Where do they oh, click? Here, 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 here. All right, training vlog with Grant Placido. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, just my name, Placido Santos. Placido Santos. Yeah. Placido Santos. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty probably you should put BJJ on there or something. Okay. Jiu-Jitsu. Congrats on the PR. Thanks, man. You too. Yeah, good. 380. Bubbles yeah. on the bench. Yeah, Go baby. Celtics. Uh, yeah. If you like the channel, like the vlogging style, like seeing us lift, like and subscribe, comment below, talk about how I'm weak and my bench press PR didn't count. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here, subscribe. Plas, Placido Santos. Placido Santos. And uh, say we'll see you next time. Dilo, we'll, we'll see you, see you next, time. next time. Yeah, vamos! <laughs> Dos, muy bien. Three, hasta arriba, toca aquí. Cuatro, eso es, otra vez. 
Muy bien, uno más. Ahora sí.